Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have here with me the Amazon Fire HD 8 2017. Now my device is bricked and I am going to show you guys how to unbrick. This device is very simple and this works with all the Kindle Fire HD models from 2014 and above. As long as they support ADB side load then it works. So you can see here the device is booting and it doesn't remove uh, from the animation so this is an issue this is referred to as of course a boot loop or as some persons prefer to call it it's bricked uh, so there's soft brick and hard brick but this is soft brick when it's hard bricked the device you are unable to uh, unbrick it so let's see you see it doesn't remove at all okay so to start by doing this you ensure that you have your adb drivers installed all the links will be in the description as well as the firmware that corresponds to your device so ensure that you have the latest software update downloaded from amazon so you go here on amazon website and you select your device model over here while the firmware is being downloaded let's start by installing the adb drivers as it is required so you simply open up the file and install follow all the prompts on screen i have it installed so you can see that it is there already but for you the prompts will be different so just ensure that you have this device installed and when you do you can we can start the installation of the firmware for the device i will provide a link to the program in the description that you'll be using to flash the device via adb and so i'm going to open it right now and we're going to type in adb and on the device let's go down to apply update from adb and now let's type adb devices to verify that the device is connected so you can see it's in side load and now let's type adb side load and we're going to drag and drop the firmware package now after dragging and dropping the firmware package we're going to press enter and the firmware is now being passed on to the device now this process takes uh, some time about 10 to 15 minutes uh, really depends but the last time i tried it it took me 10 minutes so let's be a little patience i'm not going to record the entire process but it will be done before you know it so the installation is complete now we're ready to reboot just by pressing our power button to the like reboot system and you can now feel free to disconnect the usb cable okay and you can see that the device has now booted up successfully so guys of course i will end the video here thank you very much for watching and also if you if you realize your your data wasn't lost it isn't lost actually um so yeah thank you very much for watching hit that thumbs up subscribe to my channel share the video with others and i will see you guys in another video